Yes, folks, it's an all-new Holden Calais, but not as you know it. Two-litre turbo petrol, two-litre turbo diesel, front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive V6, liftback, wagon, and crossover. About the only thing missing here is V8 and rear-wheel drive, but here's why that's not necessarily a bad thing. In the absence of any entry-level LT variants at the media launch, the four-cylinder front-drive Calais liftback tested here is the entree to the 2018 Commodore range. Priced from $40,990 plus an extra $3,000 for the diesel version, which is also off-limits to us for now, the five-door ZB looks like no Calais before it, inside and out. The first thing you notice in the high-tech cabin is the classy but understated 8-inch central touchscreen, which looks monotone until you start fiddling around in the menus, but requires two touches to adjust the air vents. The twin-gauge instrument cluster is simple but functional. There are soft-touch surfaces everywhere, and it's the same story with the leather-trimmed seats, which are spacious and positioned closer together up front almost cancelling out the fact the ZB is 36 mils narrower than the VF it replaces and offers 57 mils less shoulder room. Rear vision is also down, but the ZB is bigger than the VF in every other respect except overall length, rear headroom and cargo space. It's also far more high-tech with autonomous emergency braking, lane keep assist and smartphone mirroring now standard across the range and Calais models adding wireless phone charging and blind spot monitoring. The switch to right hand drive for the German built Commodore puts the steering column stalks on the correct sides, but the convex wing mirror and electric park brake switch haven't been swapped and the driver's footrest is far too close to the driver. The big changes happen under the bonnet though, where the 190 kilowatt 350 newton meter 2 litre turbo petrol 4 is the most powerful entry level Commodore engine ever. Matched with a silky smooth 9 speed GM Auto that's always in the right gear, the powertrain is muscular, responsive, and refined, all the way to its 6,500 rev cutout, although it does run on premium unleaded. In fact, the Calais cabin remains whisper quiet at all road and engine speeds, and its locally developed ride and handling setup is another highlight. Especially in Calais form, the new Commodore rides over all manner of road surfaces in comfort, yet its composed road holding delivers a flat cornering attitude and steering that's lighter, but just as responsive and talkative as before, with only a hint of torque steer at low speed. The ZB Calais is far from perfect, but it offers more equipment than all of its mid-size rivals and more power than all but the Subaru Liberty 3.6, for less money than all but the Toyota Camry SL. So forget everything you know about Calais of old. Judged on its merits and against its key competitors, this new Calais is a standout performer. It's an extremely different car to every model that's gone before it, but drive it and I'm sure you'll agree it's better in just about every respect.